What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. It's Tin, your no-code AI automation expert. And today we're going to take a look at this particular AI automation workflow in N8N. Now today I'm going to show you how you can scrape any website with DeepSeek and Gina AI, which is a specific software and platform that allows you to scrape pretty much any data from the internet based on a specific website from which you wanna you know scrape the data from so uh, as you can see this is a very simple workflow that you can recreate we will go through the workflow and i will show you how exactly DeepSeek and gina ai are contributing to the scraping of the leads now in this case what we're doing is we're scraping real estate agent uh, information specifically not really a real estate agent information, but like real estate information about uh, specific properties uh, and from specific website, which I'm about to show you. So the first thing you want to do is, as you can see, I have a schedule trigger right here. And that schedule trigger just represents uh, a trigger that will trigger the entire uh, workflow. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm basically triggering this every seven days or actually this is totally automated. I just put seven days and then every seven days it triggers this workflow and it scrapes, it extracts information and pulls the data from that information extracted into a Google Sheet. So the second node is an HTTP request node. And by the way, guys, all of this, like the templates and everything from the video can be found in the No Code Academy or Tino Code. We have like a, a free group. Uh, where you can actually get these free AI agent templates. So we have the HTTP request node here, and this node is specifically connected to Gina AI. Now, Gina AI is a scraping platform and website that scrapes any other website. And as you can see, you don't even have to log in. I logged in already, but you can just go on Gina.ai. You can scroll below and here you can find your uh, API key. So you can also go to API key and billing and you can find your API key. So how can you connect Gina AI to N8N? So what I did here is I put the method to be get. Again, we're using an HTTP request node. And why are we using the method get? Because we actually wanna get the information from Gina AI that Gina AI provides to us. Now, in this URL, what you wanna do is you wanna go to Gina AI, you wanna copy this, and let's just copy this as an example. I already have the URL here, but let's copy it here. And as you can see, this part of the URL, you wanna delete and you wanna put a URL that you wanna go for in terms of scraping. So you wanna scrape the data from that specific URL, right? So as you can see, I'm scraping the data from this specific URL and I'm scraping all the homes in Los Angeles area. And as you can see, this is the website that I use uh, for scraping, right? So I'm using Gina AI for scraping and then I'm going to use this website to actually scrape and Gina AI will go and scrape that website. So that's what I'm using here. And again, you can use any website. It can be Google Maps. It can be uh, you know, uh, directories, specific single website, like, you know, it can be anything. And from there, I click generic credential type, header auth, and then I went in and I put the name to be authorization. And you can go back for the value, you can go back to Gina and you can just copy this right here. So you just copy that and you paste it in here. And then you just hit save and that will authorize Gina AI to actually went in and scrape for you. Now, make sure to ignore SSL issues. This is just a precautionary measure here. And as you can see, I get the data, but this data, the thing is within this data, there's a lot of things that I don't want. So I want to remove those things. So if I go here, I have an information extractor. So that's another node that I can use. So I put this node in here. And as you can see, and I know this might look complicated for some of you, uh, but let me explain. So you have the HTTP request data and you simply want to go, you want to drag this in here and that will read the data. So the information extractor will know, okay, that's the data I need to structure. Now you want to define below and you know, you can even go generate from JSON example, 
and then it will give you an example so let me just copy this and if I go generate from JSON example copy this and put it in chat GPT and tell chat GPT exactly which data points you want so for example based on this JSON example I would like first name last name email and website from my scraping data and then the ChatGPT will generate the code you paste that code in here that's exactly what I did here I just put the find below I pasted it right here and I also went in and I have a system prompt here so if I go to expression go to expression and then click left click on this and as you can see I have like a entire prompt on exactly which specific um, data points I want so as you can see you're an expert data extractor analyze the given data and extract detailed information about recently sold properties I gave it the the address the price the bedrooms and then I also said always output the data in JSON array called results with each property represented as an object containing the above keys or above words this is actually where keywords should go and uh, that's it but there is one thing or one caveat to this so you need to actually go and add a model so within this model this is where DeepSea comes into play so you click uh, on the model and you want to integrate the open router chat model so you want to click on that and obviously uh, you will have like a plus sign add a model and then just add open router chat model and then from there you want to go in here on the pencil icon and you have the API key go to open router I have it already here opened uh, and just simply create an account it's completely free you go to keys and you want to create a new key you can name it NA10 deep seek scraper or whatever uh, just so you know that this is your key you hit create and you will get the key that you can authenticate here so you just paste it you click done and that's pretty much it it should say connection tested successfully from there you should be able to get these models now keep in mind you can use 50 plus free AI models if you type in free you have 50 plus AI models that you can use so you can use DeepSeek uh, right here you have DeepSeek Air 1 Distill 70B you have uh, you know other DeepSeek, DeepSeek models now for this we're going to use the uh, zero free so that one and you can use any model really it doesn't matter DeepSeek is great because it can really uh, format the uh, the information extraction and by the way on each node you can always test the node to see what you're getting as an output so in this case I'm getting the address the price the bedrooms bathrooms so that's exactly what I want based on my input schema here as you can see okay from there you just want to uh, have add another node which is called split out node and you want to make sure you're splitting out the output results so output and results this is what I uh, put here I just put output dot results and then that's pretty much it for that step you test the step and you should be getting beautifully formatted data like this so it's no more data like the previous uh, nodes where you're getting like a lot of data but it's not actually structured here you're getting a, a structured data now from there you just wanna send this somewhere where you're going to store the data I'm specifically using Google Sheets so I just went in connected my Google Sheets account here very easy you just sign in with Google and then from there I have sheet within a document we wanna append the row because we wanna update the row with new information and then we have real estate agent information which is this sheet right here again it can be really any niche and you can really scrape any website and then you have sheet one which is this right here and then map automatically because we want a uh, Google sheet and NA10 to go and map these automatically which will display right here so if we simply go and if we just test this it will reveal right here so that's basically how it works right this is the entire workflow it's very simple now in the previous video I showed you how you can add other AI agents and, and stuff like that and again most of these can be found in our free group if you're really interested in expanding your knowledge uh, even more in in terms of NA10 and AI automations uh, but this is essentially what you get right you have a free AI uh, tool Gina AI that scrapes the data and then you have a, a free AI model deep seek from open router that extracts the information and sends it back to Google Sheets so 
uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very simple but effective uh, way of scraping leads. And again, you can put the schedule trigger to be, you know, every three days, every four days, every six days, every 10 days, whatever you want, you can put that right in here. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. If you have any specific questions, make sure to comment down below, subscribe for more, join our school community, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.